toss a toast now it's all a big chocolate factory rolling in the head the gravy is groovy while in the head it is heavy ever since technology has been shipped to the cloud our head is lost in it too that masquerade ball is on and it just sucks us into that metaverse sounds familiar let's help mind escape the ball have you heard of tiger bomb yes yes the same pain reliever let's take a look at it anyone who stood within wafting distance of a marathon knows the smell tiger bomb the classic pain relieving ointment can be traced to a chinese herbalist who began selling it in the 1870s and it has been there ever since its formulation with pun intended is since too <laughs> ironically it's only another pain brought about by our very senses that cry out of pain what are the sins of tiger balm the balm promises to work where it hurts but unlike ibuprofen or aspirin tiger balm doesn't attack the source of the pain it's made of so called counter irritants substances that cause mild hot and cool sensations on your skin to distract your brain in other words tiger balm won't pounce on your pain but it will confuse and delight your nerve endings and your nose with tingle inducing ingredients it has camphor menthol demethonized mint there is kachupat this cassia this clove oil a combination of these activate the skin's temperature sensors and tricks you into feeling cold reduces blood flow and swelling like an ice pack because it interacts with opioid receptors and further confuses pain with these neurological tricksters at play there's only so much input the nervous system can handle in one location so forcing the body to focus on the chills has the effect of masking the underlying pain with paraffin aka vaselin that settles on the surface and stays there the sham is complete and the pain is still there but pushed into a recess we develop tunnel vision and keep running the underground around the jobs and routine that make it mundane that's our well of death instead read up read up read up read up metaphors not just ordinary stuff read up metaphors what are metaphors well go figure what metaphors do is that they not only make language interesting they bring imagery and analogies to mind that helps the mind beat the drudgery of being plugged in to the carbon of life it makes the process of writing and thinking so much more multiverse and fascinating it's better than cinema whose script you don't control but reading a good book that has flourish of metaphors leaves the helm of the content in your hands so you can go floating or skiing or driving diving or flying as the metaphors catalyze your minds lastly if the pain is in the head the relief lies there too by becoming and remaining prisoners of our environment that we all are and it is an inescapable reality we just need to allow the head to drive us on the wrong side of the road the rule of the road is a paradox quite you are wrong when you walk on the right if you do it you will defeat metaverse with your own version of multiverse and if you allow metaverse to do it it will only take you to a room full of smokes and mirrors and feed you opioids a web is an interesting mating ground for spiders the fact is that after an act of copulation between a female and male spider the male often gets eaten up by the female spider that's true you can beat stress if you can choose the road inspired by metaphors or you can surrender yourself to the smokes and mirrors put together by metaverse we should soon be launching a tool that shall calibrate and identify your position and help you prepare for a jump where you will land on your feet and not in a mere state of heat that's when tutu said white came to africa they had the bible we had the land they said let's close our eyes and pray we did 
when we opened the eyes they had the lands we had the bible it is a web of desires and one needs to be careful walking through it on the world wide web one can either be fed or be dead the choice is to choose carefully or become vulnerable to be chosen by a female spider <laughs> yogi at yol signing off for your one life